Okay, the current in an AC circuit is given by the expression uh, I equal to 75 milliampere sine 120 pi t. Sketch a current time graph for the AC circuit. Okay, so here we have an equation. Okay, I uh, just want to write down this formula first. I equal to 75 uh, sine. Uh, 120 pi t okay so we need to compare this uh, equation with the general uh, formula for ac current uh, which is this one current equal to i naught current equal to i naught sine omega t okay uh, current equal to i naught sine omega t so the general formula is uh, i equal to i naught sine Omega T. Okay, so okay, so here we can see the seventy five <coughs> milliampere is I naught. Okay, I naught, and then uh, this hundred and twenty pi is omega. Okay, so uh, <coughs> so we can say okay, we can write down I naught is actually the peak current. The peak current is actually seventy five milliampere so you must be careful with the you know the unit here 75 milliampere so uh when this one is in the peak current is in milliampere okay when the peak current uh is in milliampere so this uh current also we in milliampere understand <coughs> the unit they are they are the same okay same same unit milliampere milliampere Okay, and then here we have the omega is 120 pi. Omega is 120 pi. We know that omega is 2 pi f, right? Omega is a uh, 2 pi frequency or uh, 2 pi over period, right? Uh, so we can actually uh, substitute uh, this one with uh, <coughs> 2 pi over period. 2 pi over period, which is... Uh, 120 pi so uh okay cut off so this one is um 60 okay so uh, what is the period then yeah so let's calculate <coughs> uh, so uh what's the period okay for a second I divide by uh, uh, 120 pi. Okay, so, so the period is actually 1 over 60 second. Yeah, 1 over 60 second. Alright, uh, okay, so um, sketch the current time graph for the AC circuit. Okay, so how to sketch it? So, okay, let's let me draw out the diagram so here we have uh oops me mm. okay oh no 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 i think i uh, just use this one wait this is alternating current so uh it's better i use Okay. Yep. So okay. So we have uh, the current. So the current is in milliampere. Okay, because based on the equation is milliampere, and then the time is in second. Yeah. Time is in second. Okay, so um, okay, so here we can uh ah so just now the value we got the peak current. Okay, we can label that. We can label that on the diagram. So uh, the peak current is uh, seventy five milliampere. Uh, and then here also we have um negative seventy five. Okay, and then uh, we have uh, 
Okay, uh, then we uh, make a label here for uh, at least two wavelengths. Uh, at least we have a uh, two, uh, can say two period. Uh, yeah, uh, two period. Okay, make it two period, two wavelength. All right. So okay, so here is a. Uh, um, uh, okay, let me see. Yeah. Uh, uh, one. Uh, so I need. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's enough. So okay, one. This is considered as a one period here. Uh, one period is a uh, one over sixty. One over sixty. This one is a uh, two over sixty. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Okay, so this one is actually considered as a one period. This one as a two period. Okay, ah, uh, two period. <clears throat> so all right. So one period is a com one complete wavelength. So let me uh, draw it. Yeah. So this is a this is a sine graph, right? This is a sine graph. Okay, it's a sine graph. So uh, so it is a graph uh, like like this lah. Sine graph, uh, okay. Sine graph, uh, so it's a you should draw a sine graph. So let me, uh, okay. Uh, so this is called uh, considered as uh, one period. This is considered as one period. One period. Uh, this is one period, lah. Okay. So one period. So okay. Let me draw out one period for this one. So I need two period, yeah. So when you draw graph. Uh, the minimum minimum is two period. You should draw two period. Don't just draw one period. Yeah, the minimum is two period. Okay, two wavelength. Okay, so all right. Let me draw it out. Okay, wait, wait. Let me draw it properly. Okay, the uh, I can I can say is um. Uh, wait, wait. So you, you, should, you should actually this one, uh, you know, follow this line. Huh? Uh, you should follow this line. Okay. So okay, and then I, uh, this is one period. Okay, one period. So I need to complete another one. Okay, so at least two period. So this is the graph for, uh, you know, the graph for uh, for this equation. Okay, uh, you can label that. That is the graph for uh, current equal to seventy five milliampere sine uh, omega t. Okay. So okay, now uh, the second question is um, find the current when at this time. So question B, now just now is question A. So now for question B. So uh, write down the formula again, 75 milliampere, uh, sine 120 pi. So uh, T, so I substitute the 30 second. I substitute the 30 second over here. Okay, so. Uh, 25 sign a okay. write down the unit also because it's not in SI unit multiply 30 second <coughs> okay uh, make sure uh, this one you are uh, all in radian uh. make sure all in radian uh, because you have uh, pi you see that uh, this one is in radian not degree uh. don't put degree your calculator, your calculator need to set to radian. Uh, your calculator need to set to radian. Okay. So now let's do. Let's find out the answer. Okay. So right. calculator, you need to set to uh, radian. Okay, radian. Set to radian. Uh, okay. Then you calculate seventy five sine. Uh, 120 pi multiply 30 okay 
So I got zero. Eh? Uh, hold on a second. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> after I calculate this one, I got actually zero. Yeah, I got zero, zero milliampere. Yeah. So uh, make sure you call, uh, you change your calculator to radian uh, because uh, pi is in radian. Okay, uh, the answer actually turns out to be different, but uh, I'm pretty sure this is the answer. Yeah. So okay, this one should the the answer should be wrong. Yeah, it should be zero milliampere. Okay, so that's all for these questions. Okay, make sure you know how to find the peak current and also the period. So this is the peak current, 75 is the peak current, and uh, 120 pi here we can find the period. Okay, that's because that's the omega. Omega is 2 pi over period, so you can find the period over here. So, <clears throat> so here uh, in the graph, we label this one as uh, uh, I0 and this one is negative I0. Okay, uh, I0 and negative I0, and this one is the period. Period is for one complete oscillation. Uh, in the graph, we need to have, to have at least two, two wavelengths, yeah, or two periods. Okay, so one period is uh, 1 over 60, uh, two, two period will be 2 over 60. Okay, so that's all for these questions. Bye.